today I want to talk to you about an entirely new kind of intelligence. We're calling it story intelligence, or SQ for short. This has to do with your ability to be self-aware of yourself as a story creature. And we believe that mastering the art of story, mastering your story intelligence, may be the most important life task you have. Now, SQ has a lot to do with emotional intelligence. It's a close cousin of EQ. Um, when Daniel Goleman first began writing about this and popularizing the idea back in the 90s, um, it was a revolutionary idea. We used to think that what made us effective as human beings was our intellect, what went on between our two ears. Uh, what Goleman and many of the really important researchers before him really began to understand was that uh, the heart and emotions play a much more central role in what it takes to be an effective human being. Now, if we look back on this concept, we find that uh, there's some distinctions, though, between EQ and SQ. Whereas EQ puts emotions at the center or the heart of our understanding of, of, of humanity, SQ puts story right at the heart of things, at the center of things. And we believe that it really has a lot more to do with what it means to be an effective human being than even our emotions. Now, Goleman was influenced, uh, and, and the writers on multiple intelligences were influenced by a plethora of research that was coming out in the 60s, 70s, and 80s um, about emotions and their role in the way we run our lives. And likewise, in the last 10 or 15 years, there's been a remarkable um, avalanche of new studies, especially with uh, technologies evolving with FM, fMRIs, uh, to demonstrate that actually there is something happening with, with regard to story and narrative um, that actually is more defining for us as human beings. Now, it's no wonder that, um, that we have thought of ourselves as um, more focused on thinking and intellect. Uh, Descartes, back in the 1600s, uh, declared, I think, therefore I am. And it's no surprise that just about 100 years later, Carl Linnaeus named our species Homo sapiens, you know, loosely translated wise humans. Um, and uh, that's kind of held for a few hundred years. But it's time, I think, for a new name for us. Homo narare, storytelling human. And we believe that this is actually a much fitter de definition of what it means to be a human being than Homo sapiens. So story plays an important role in almost every facet of humanity. It's there at every turn. Wars are started by uh, typifications of others as less than human. But wars can also be resolved and through diplomacy when we, when we begin to see the other as, uh, as having a story that's worth considering and respecting. Now, our relationships, uh, words that are uttered, uh, you know, um, blithely or you know, without any consideration for their truth can destroy a relationship in a moment. And likewise, listening to the other's story can have an impact on us profoundly and bring people together. And um, our relationship with ourselves is also impacted by story. We can spend a lot of time in the past worrying about what happened and mulling it over. Uh, and it can create depression and, and tremendous anxiety. Likewise, Worrying about the future can create tremendous anxiety as well. But when we come into the present moment and we're able to craft a story about now, in this moment, what is happening now, it's transformative. So we begin to think of, uh, begun to think of story as rudimentary, like fire and water. It's like a rudimentary element in the universe. And uh, fire can destroy in a moment what's taken a lifetime to build and and, and likewise, it can warm the heart. And water can, uh, can drown us in despair, while at the same time, it can, it can really nourish and, uh, and feed our spirits. So we think that what we need to do right now is to develop this capacity in ourselves. And we think it has huge implications for society and education and all facets of human affairs. Um, you know, when emotional intelligence came out, it was like a revolution in the way we began to think about how to educate young people and how we would train people who were in the corporate world. And we believe that there's going to be a similar kind of title shift as we begin to look at story intelligence and SQ as so fundamental to life. 
And we're going to see beginning very young, training children to begin to understand their life as a story creature and understand the role and the, the flow of story in their lives. And likewise, we'll see it all the way through college and higher education and as well as in the corporate boardroom and the training room. We're going to begin to understand that story is fundamental to life, to success. So we believe that mastering the art of story is the essential, the essential task for all of us. And when we undertake it, we think it can bring us greater meaning, uh, greater purpose, and greater relevance to our lives. Mm -hmm.